All right, Fordy, I have to admit, I've been really looking forward to what you've been okay. saying about this referee. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Talk yeah. to me, man. This guy's awful. You know what? He'll be lucky to be refereeing in the Northern League, seriously, by next week. And not just the referee as well. The Lions as a collective. Yeah. Because how can you mess that up? I Seriously, I need educated. I need educated on football. With my, I'm not going to reveal my age, but my somewhat years <laughs> on this earth, I thought I knew football. But now I've learned something new. You can take a penalty, wave it away, and then carry on playing, despite having 48,000 fans booing you. Probably even the Burn fans thinking, what? Surely that should be a goal. Yeah. But I'm baffled. I'm seriously baffled. How could you give the penalty? Yes, I've seen it because I had my phone out. Gail's encroaching. He was in the box. But usually, don't you just take that again? Yeah. So, what's going on? <laughs> Please tell me. Educate me. Seriously, I need education because I want to know. If it's something wrong, I'll hold my hands up. But for yeah. me, you take that again. I am baffled. But anyway, we won. So, positive. <laughs> yeah, we won. Yeah. <laughs> It's one nil. You should have started off Newcastle yeah. now one Burton nil because at the moment it feels like I've come from a defeat. It feels defeat. like a defeat. <laughs> it, does, it really does. But I'm baffled how we're not won by more. At least two. At least. Yeah. So. I mean, you were saying uh, against Wigan, you were going to take a draw against this one. Do you think? Yeah. Nearly. Nearly. If it wasn't for Richie, by the way, should be in the team of the season. I'm going to put it out there. Whoever's watching, team of the season, save us twice. Twice. Wigan and tonight. Yeah. How is this guy not in team of the season? How can you put team of the season out in March when this guy comes up and wins the game for us twice in the space of, what, less than seven days? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. But, yeah, Richie had his magic hat on again, scores a screamer, wins us the game. But apart from that, I didn't really see anything that we, we deserved to win it, really. We had possession, yes. We had shots, yes. Clear-cut chances. Do you think... Apart from the penalty, obviously. I mean, Richie scored 15 now, Dwight Gale 22. Do you think we're really over reliant on those two? have to I mean what do we spend 10 million on him 12 million on him absolute bargain but you can't find a better bargain than that in Poundland seriously <laughs> seriously this guy Richie comes up trumps I, I slate him sometimes but you know what this guy Richie seriously Shelby had a decent game girl eh, here or there but Richie man of the match easily easily and thank God we've got him in the team thank God we have got him in the team because otherwise I would have been right and I would have been dancing around here saying hey 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 I got it right because it was nearly a draw let's be honest Burn had the game plan that he had against Huddersfield frustrate us you know obviously the referee helped with that as well but they frustrated us hit us on the counter attack did they have a shot I think they might have one shot all game that's about it but they came here nearly executed their game plan to so fair play to them I knew it would be close because even when we was at their ground we only won 2-1 just so for, them, for us to beat them 1-0 just about right. Just about right. Yeah, Chancellor Mamba come back into the team today. How do you think he did? Uh, Chancel. Um, love the song. <laughs> My voice is gone from shouting his name all the time. But yeah, he did all right, man. Uh, I'm still back with Wise and playing more this season. Yeah. Good enough for the Premier League. Easy to our best player last season. But yeah, he's not good enough at this level. So, baffles me. One player that might need to be dropped in the next game is themselves because he's still a bit shaky. And it yeah. pains me to say that as well because I love myself, but he's, he's not, he's not, um, I'm just not sure about him at the moment, man. I need to be sure at the back and he's not giving that to me at the moment, so, yeah. One of the other surprises in the team, Diame dropping into a sort of more deeper role. Do you think we can see that going forward? Yeah, we went for it. We finally went for it, you know, dropped, we dropped the holding player. We don't need a holding player at home. We don't need a callback or a Hayden passing it sideways let's go for it especially against a team like Burton we finally went for it we had Perez in behind Gale good or well, ish we had Diame in uh, with Shelby there doing whatever they need to do we had Atu on the left thank god thank you I've been saying for Atu for how long now seriously come on check my history Atu and then they obviously had Rich on the other side come and save the day so that's our best attacking force isn't it yeah. let's, let's face it so thank god we had them in the team and they've done alright so yeah. Next two games by league position are our hardest. Sheffield Wednesday away, Leeds at home. Would you make any changes? Uh, going forward, no. I think it's our best um, front six, if you like. You know, the midfield and obviously the two up top. But in the back, as I said, I'm just not too sure about Lascelles and Mbemba. And funny enough, that was our partnership in the Premier League, which probably should change if we, <laughs> <laughs> we're in the championship. Yeah, maybe we should change it. But um, yeah, definitely. Uh, Leaving Bember in there, if the cells gets his act together, just keep it simple, bro. That's yeah. it. I know sometimes maybe too much dawdling on the ball. If Kieran Clark's back, then shove him straight in there. 
I don't really want to know about Hanley at the moment. He's not showing me enough. He's not had enough. But apart from that, yeah, pretty much the same, yeah. yeah. So if I'm here, I'm offering you a draw against Sheffield Wednesday right now. <laughs> You would have taken one today, would yeah, you take yeah. one now? Well, yeah, you laughed at me when I said the draw with, with Burton, didn't you? Yeah, Before I was right. You know, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're just about right. <laughs> Nearly. When I was watching the game, I had you two envisioned in my mind. <laughs> as sad as that sounds, I was like, yeah, nearly proved you guys right. But thank God to Richards, once again, come and save the day. Super Richie to the rescue again. Yeah. Right again, Chef Wednesday, would you take a draw? Take a draw, oh, sorry, getting off on a tangent there. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, probably, because they, they've got quality. they got a better... You know what, they got better quality than Burton and with better quality, they did have a couple chances in there, Forestieri, they could finish us off. So yeah, I'll take a draw, I'll take a draw. We only need, from, in my opinion, two more wins. Two more wins and a couple of points here and there to, to win this league or at least go up. So two more wins, take that against Barnsley and Preston. Rest, neither here nor there. All right, cheers for you. Make sure you subscribe to him for half mercy. Yeah.